Hello everybody, it's Friday, it's time to shave. Shall we shave? Let's shave. Uh, I'm not gonna be using this today. I'm gonna be using this, Colonel Conks, which uh, was sent to me by uh, Girl Alex out of Chicago, and the last time I used it, I cut myself, cut the dickens out of myself. Right here, with that shavette. So she felt bad that I cut myself using the soap she sent, so I'm gonna use it again today. I'm gonna lather it, uh, I'm not gonna bowl lather it, I'm gonna hand lather it, and face lather it, and all that stuff. So let's. Let's not even chat. Let's just let's just do it. Let's get it done. All right. Ooh, ow, hot. I took a shower, did my hair, put in some rather hot water on my face. And um, the brush I'm going to be using today is my original satin tip, the purest, my original synthetic brush, the first one I ever had. And it's what started it all and made me realize that synthetic brushes are for me. And I'm going to use the old Rockwell today, the old standby, the old miss, the old man. Deep River. Anyway, it's that's a vacation Chevy Chase reference. Rockwell 6S with a feather blade in it. Um, and then the aftershave, I'm gonna bring out the old Florida water. I haven't used this in a while, but I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kick it up a notch. I'm gonna make it some mentholated Florida water and see if that brings out the juju, brings out the spirits in the post-shave routine. All right, I'm gonna get this thing wet and I'm going to take this this is the Bay Rum, the Colonel Conk Bay Rum Soap. This stuff worked very well last time. Uh, it's got a mild Bay Rum scent and this kind of uh, dark uh, honey color, brownish beige, whatever you'd call it. And I'm gonna hand lather, so I don't, you know, cause I normally like to face lather. I don't really bowl lather a lot. So if you're gonna hand lather, you just put the puck in your hand and start lathering up, loading up that brush. As Bob Ross would say, load up that brush with alizarin crimson. Actually, that was another guy. They had, there were two, back in the 80s, there were two main painting guys on PBS. One was a fellow who seemed to have a German accent or an Austrian accent. I never quite placed it. And he was a little bit scarier than Bob Ross. Bob Ross, of course, isn't scary at all. But um, yeah, so that guy always had alizarin crimson. He would always use alizarin crimson. So... <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do accents. I can't help myself. I do it all the time. I have to entertain myself. I mean, if I'm not gonna do it, who is, right? All right, so I'm gonna, <laughs> since I laddered in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and just rub, you know, what I did and then I'll wash it off. Put that up there on my face and then I'll do a proper, proper lather. Hey, thanks everyone for emailing me about the uh, Pay It Forward package. I'm gonna be drawing, I've had 45, I think, emails so far. So today, I'm going to pick at random one of the people that emailed me, and then I will send the PayPal request for the shipping. And if for some reason that person doesn't come through, then I'll go to the next person and, uh, and we'll pay it forward. We'll give these things away. And there was some confusion, I think. <laughs> I tried to make it really clear, but you know, it's hard sometimes. Um, so I'll try to clarify this time. Let's shave while I talk. Um, that's my thing, shaving and talking. Um, so the things that I'm giving away, you saw if you look at the, uh, my most recent video before this one, um, I showed you everything I'm going to be giving away. And what I'm going to do is with one video, I'll put together a bunch of the products and I'll shave with those products. And the products that you see in that video will be what I give away. Not, uh, picking and choosing from everything like I've had requests from people, <laughs> emails saying, I want that thing I saw in the bag. It's like, well, that's coming. You can't, unfortunately, I can't take requests like that. So it will be in each video where I say it's, you know, another pay it forward package giveaway. What you see in that particular video is what I'm giving away. So to the guys that, uh, that requested very specific things that I didn't use in that past video, unfortunately, it's not going to work like that or else I'd just be never leave the post office. I hate going to the post office, it's such a pain. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> Cause now I, I have been saving little tiny boxes and things over the past year, cause I knew I was gonna be doing this. So hopefully I can make it easy on myself. I still have not sent out those shavettes. So for all the guys that claim the shavettes, don't worry. Once I get everything together, I'll send it all out at one time. I'm just very bad at procrastinating, but don't worry, I have not forgotten about you. 
and hopefully you won't harbor any grudges because I'm dragging my feet going to the post office. Have you been to the post office lately? It's a, it's a real pleasure. It's just a pleasure. Just our government's working like well-oiled machine. Actually, you know what? That's when you think about it. Yeah, we all complain, right? But think about that job. I'm not just talking about the individual person like working. I'm like, think about what they do. Every single one of us gives themselves like, here, take this and set it over there. And most of the time, they get it right, right? Most of the time, I would say, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say most of the time it does work. And that's a heck of a feat. That is, I mean, you gotta give them mad props, as the kids say. Is that what they say? I don't know. What do the kids say? I don't know. Vibe, vibe feels, I don't know. I can't, ch you know what? I've got kids, so I'm gonna try to keep track of some of the popular slang or whatever, but I just can't do it. All right, here we go, second pass. That boy, that just went by so quick. I was talking to all y'all and having a good time. So we had a big uh, cool front come through today. I know weather, weather talk is so boring, but uh, that means I get to light my pumpkin scented candle <laughs> and, uh, and maybe have a fire in the fireplace. I don't know. It's not very cold. For us, it's cold. For the rest of you, I know it's not cold. 59 degrees for a high. Fahrenheit, mind you. All right, second pass with the Rockwell 6S and the Feather Blade. I had a lovely response from Kevy of Kevy Shaves fame, a UK YouTube shaver, who said that he has the metal version of that plastic safety razor, the futuristic one that was part of the pay it forward. So I guess they went on, the company, Went on to make a metal version, but then the company went under, I guess. It never really caught on for them, so. That pay it forward plastic one, the futuristic one, the prototype, is one of a kind. I don't think there are any more. If there are, they're probably in the hands of the, the owner or the guy or whoever was uh, started the company, you know? So, that's extra special. Take care of that thing, whoever wins it. I've had responses and emails from people all over the world. It's just amazing to me. And I don't use that word a lot because that's one of the most overused terms these days. Everything is amazing. It's amazing. It used to be literally. I'm such a word guy, you know? I, uh, uh, I get so annoyed by, I mean, I love language. I love dead language, you know, like, like old, terms that nobody uses anymore, I find fascinating. Um, so with this whole internet, I sound like an old man, gee, Merry Christmas, what am I doing? All these kids with their internet. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is when text speech, like LOL or, you know, those kind of things bleed over into spoken language, then I start to be like, ugh, I don't like that. <sighs> is that the evolution of things? Is that the evolution of language? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? Hey, let me tell you what I do know. This, <laughs> that sounds like a car salesman. Let me tell you what I do know. This stuff is great. It's fantastic. This is good stuff. Colonel Conk, I, I had never used it before. Thanks again, Alex, for sending this to me. It's got, a, it's got a very nice, mild bay rum smell. It's not overpowering at all. It's very slick. It lathers easily. It feels good, smells good. It looks a little weird, like that color is a little dark, but. What the heck? It looks like rum, I guess. It looks kind of like a, a rum and milk cocktail. I'm not sure. All right, third pass, folks. I put a little bit more water on this old... This thing is so small now. Let me show you the difference between the, the big West Coast shaving. Look, look how cute he is. And this is the big, the big daddy. And then the Sinatra linen brush, which is still for sale. DS Cosmetics on AliExpress. Um, I think they still have it for sale. That one's right in between, size-wise. But this is the very first one I got. And I think it was sent to me. It's been a long time. I went back and looked at that futuristic shaving razor video of me from four years ago. Boy, I look like a baby in that thing. I look like a, a wee baby. I look so young. 
And now I'm so wizened. I'm so... <laughs> Four years and two kids can, uh, can age a man, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Gosh! Uh, I don't know why, you know, I have a lot of viewers that are 17 years old, 14 years old, a lot of uh, young guys that watch this. I don't know why you're watching this, unless uh, you just like your old internet uncle. Spinning yarns while he shaves his old face. Maybe that's it, I don't know. I'm glad you're there. Whoever you are, however old you are, wherever you live, I appreciate you. Mmm. That reminds me, everyone has been contacting me about the new Gillette safety razor that they're releasing November 1st. Uh, I think it's called the Heritage, the Gillette Heritage. It's available for pre-order right now on Amazon. And I think it's $37. So the Gillette Heritage, it's, a, it's the first safety razor they produced in like 30 years or something like that. And it comes in a little uh, presentation case, kind of like the old school ones did. And uh, so yes, I went ahead and pre-ordered it. And if I don't like it, I can always return it. But I gotta try it out, I mean, my goodness. It looks like, I'll have to research to see, uh, I think Ken Surfs did a video about it that, and he probably did some more research. I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff. I just now remembered to even talk about it. But um, I'm not sure what old razor it's based off of. Maybe like the new tech or something from the 1930s. It's a three piece razor. So it's kind of like this where you screw the top off, the top is two pieces and then the handle. It's not a butterfly razor. It's not a fat boy, but Tell you what though, if they're even getting back into the market, Gillette, maybe they'll re-release the Fat Boy. Wouldn't that be something? Like limited edition Fat Boy re-release? Of course they'd have to like recreate the machining and the tooling and all that stuff. It'd be tough, but if they did that, they might win back a lot of fans that they turned off recently. Me, I hold no affiliations. <laughs> all right. Mm. I tell you what, man, if you are in the market for a safety razor, I always recommend the Merker 34C, even though I don't own one and I shouldn't, I just hear so much good stuff about it. Forget the Merker, Mercure. Get the Rockwell, get the Rockwell. Get the 6S or the 6C or whatever you can afford. This thing is like a hundred bucks, so that's a lot of money, I know, but it will last you the rest of your life. You'll never have to buy another razor again. You'll just have to buy blades and they're cheap. Buy yourself this razor. It is the best. I think it's the best razor on the market right now. It gives me the best shave, the cleanest shave, the easiest shave. I mean, this, you can feel this, feel, feel that. It's, it's smooth and it's effortless. And I never get nicked from this thing. I mean, almost never. Most of the time I am not getting nicks and this is built like a tank. This thing is heavy, but it's just the right size. Anyway, I like it. I'm not getting paid to say this. They sent me this for free uh, several years ago, so I've already paid it back, you know, <laughs> for their generosity. But man, the Rockwell 6S, you cannot beat it. Okay, aftershave time, Florida water. There's a lot of uh, stuff I learned about Florida water that they use it a lot in uh, spirituality exercises in New Orleans and voodoo kind of stuff and just spirituality in general. So I'm gonna add my own little mix of menthol and Florida water. Let's see what gree gree I can come up with. Ooh, oh, it's like little needles, little needles. Mmm, smells way more of Florida water than menthol because that Florida water is, it's a very vegetal, you know, herbal uh, scent, this stuff. I mean, look at that label. That looks like it was, you know, some whoever created that thing was probably in the 1800s at some point. But anyway, good stuff. Can I feel the menthol? I think so. Because it doesn't have menthol on its own. Florida water. But this does. Thanks again for sending this to me. The frost drops from Sterling. <sighs> oh, it smells like Florida water. And that is some, it's got a strong scent, but it, it dissipates fairly, fairly, uh, quickly. So I think that's it. Oh, I thought I nicked myself. I saw a little, it's just one of these little red spots. I get these red spots. It's skin, skin, human skin. It's complicated. Anyway, hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'll have some more live streams coming up if you want. 
I could do another live shave next week, like on a Wednesday, like kind of split it up because I do Mondays and Fridays. Pardon me. So I could do a live shave on Wednesday. I need to have a porch hangout soon now that it's getting cool. I'll light up a pipe, have some scotch. We'll hang out on the porch, all that stuff. Do some more pay it forwards coming up. And I got some more uh, space soap uh, being sent to me uh, by Bob who made the space soap. This stuff, he's still selling it. He's got his Etsy store up and he's got some more of this, I believe. So if you want it, I'll put the link down below. He's sending me some new stuff, including some 3D printed brushes that he's had made that look like rocket ships from what I understand. So that's cool. So we got a lot more stuff coming up. Thanks everybody for, for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody that entered and I'll be getting in touch with uh, the Pay It Forward winner soon. So have a great weekend, everybody. And I'll see you on Monday, if not sooner.